Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Uh, wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny it. Welcome to Mr. Pop's neighborhood where everything is all good in our hood. How y'all doing today? Good. Welcome to, Mr. Pop, welcome to Mr. Pop's neighborhood. Guess what our discussion will be today? What? what? Just because a person's obese doesn't mean they the least, and just because a person weighed less don't mean they the best. Can y'all relate to that? Yes. Yeah. You know what people have a tendency of doing? making a person feel uncomfortable because they have a weight issue or weight problem. Is that fair to a person? No. no. And just, prefer, just because a person weighed less, do that make them the best? No. 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 You are who you think you are, and you are who you say you are, right? Yeah. yeah. And you are what you want to be, correct? Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about that for a moment. Who in here, who in here know what ranking is? Yeah, everyone pretty much knows what ranking well, is. Well, what, what, what does it mean? It's like when you call someone bad names and you do it in front of a whole bunch of people to make the person feel bad. That's one way of ranking. Who, who's another, another definition of ranking? To make fun of somebody. Anybody else? Um, What's your definition of ranking? say if like someone makes some fun of someone else because like they're not as smart as them or like like they're overweight or if like they're too if, like they're not smart enough they'll make fun of them for it that's right now say uncomfortable uncomfortable say intimidation intimidation say verbal assault verbal assault say character assassination character assassination that's all it is anytime a person ranks on you and tease you, that's verbal assault. Anytime you feel uncomfortable in a person's presence, that's intimidation. Nobody has a right to be uncomfortable in anybody's presence. Nobody has a right to be intimidated in anybody's presence, regardless of what you look like. Y'all aware of that, right? Yeah. So how do we deal with a situation like that? Tell me some good solutions. You can choose to ignore the person. That's one of the best solutions. Would you like to expound on that a little more? Um, when you ignore the person who was bullying you or making you feel insecure, it doesn't fuel fire for them to keep going at you and it doesn't give them a reaction to act on it more. Give a hand, y'all. You're absolutely right. Whenever a person feels like they can press your button and you react to that, that means they have control over you. But when a person press your button and you don't react, how that, how that makes a person feel? Like what they're doing is not effective, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. And you said a key word, ignore. And it sometimes hurt to ignore because you're human and don't nobody like to be teased because of their weight, right? Yeah. yeah. But that doesn't give anybody right to tease you. But another thing, each and every one of y'all should be able to encourage one another. When a person feels down, you've been around your friends enough to know when a person been harassing them or if they feel like they've been humiliated, correct? Yeah. yeah. They look down, they don't look like they self, they don't feel like they self, right? Yeah. yeah. And you might say, you don't feel like yourself today. Is everything all right? 
and they might be a little bit uncomfortable to tell you what the situation is, but the more you make them feel comfortable and relaxed and secure, they'll open up more. And then you come to realize that the kids was teasing them about the size they are. You all understand that? Yeah. yeah. So we want to talk about resolution. We want to talk about the best way to handle a situation. Let's look at these principles. Somebody say, identify. Identify. Somebody say, notify. Notify. And say, the teacher or the adult will rectify. The teacher or the adult will rectify. Those are three important principles. You identify who's the bully. You notify the teacher or the adult, right? Then let the teacher or the adult rectify the situation because if you try to do it, it'll make matters worse. Y'all understand that? Yeah. And when you see one of you all getting teased or you see a person getting teased, intervene. Go to that person who's the bully and say to them, that's not fair how you're treating that person like a victim. That's not the right thing to do. That person is human too. That person has feelings too. And you say to them, do you have brothers and sisters? They say, yes. Yeah. How would you like if somebody tease them? That's called intervening and intervention. Say that. Intervening, intervening and intervention. Wouldn't y'all like to help the situation instead of hurting the situation? Yes. Who would like to comment on that? Would anybody like to comment on that? Intervening. Um, um, I've been bullied before, and... I have a friend named Jasmine, and she's intervened for me and told them that that wasn't nice, and it has got um, other bullies to stop. That's all right. It got other bullies to stop? Yeah. You see that? Wasn't that effective? Yeah. Now, didn't that show you that that was a true friend to yeah. intervene? Yeah. Because you know what? Some people have a tendency of saying, that's not my business. That's the wrong attitude. It is your business. Anytime you're in a classroom or you're part of a school and one of your classmates or schoolmate is involved in any kind of trouble, it is your business. Because no one wants to see anyone hurt verbally or physically, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's say, use the word, say snitch. 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 Say, there's no such thing as snitching. There's no such thing as snitching. Now ask me why. I say, why would you say that, Mr. Pop? Why would you say that, Mr. Pops? Okay. If you see someone, a friend of yours, getting bullied on, and you hear about some kids going to plan to jump on the kid after school, and you don't notify the teacher. Remember we talked about identify, notify, yes. and the teacher rectify those three principles? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you identify that they're going to jump on a particular kid after school on their way home and you don't notify the teacher and the teacher can't rectify the situation and the next morning you hear on the news and you're reading the newspaper or you get a text that that kid is in a coma how would you feel bad because you knew about it and you didn't speak up on it did y'all hear that say that again you knew about it and that you didn't speak up on it so you're gonna feel bad about it no now, you understand what I mean by there's no such thing as snitching? Yes. Anytime you're preventing someone to not get harmed or hurt, that's not snitching. That's being concerned about a person. How would you feel if you hear some kids say, we're going to verbally taunt this kid. We're going to call him fat, uh, out of shape. They don't have no clothes. We're going to tease him all the way home. And you don't notify somebody. And that kid go home, commit suicide, or that kid go home and don't want to come back out no more to school, or don't want to come out to play, just stay cooped up in their room, how would you feel? I would feel guilty that I let that said person be bullied, and I'd feel somewhat like if I was in their shoes that I wouldn't like that I would not. Stepped in. Y'all understand that? Yeah. Yes. But no one has a right to be teased, correct? Yes. Yeah. Now, what's some of the various teasing they do that you all are familiar with? 
What's some of the T's? Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying. Verbal. Verbal. Now, do y'all know anything about silent bullying? Oh, no. 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 Guess what silent bullying is? What? Say facial expressions. Facial expressions. Don't you all have a tendency of seeing people roll their eyes or twitch their nose or twitch their mouth? Don't, doesn't those expressions have meanings? Yes. Right? Right? Right. right. So if you see somebody stand at their locker and you walk by, it's a certain look they can give you that means I'll see you later on, I'll get you later on, or you got something coming. You understand that, right? Yes. So that's called silent what? Bullying. Because it's nonverbal, but it's facial expressions, right? Yeah. Isn't that uncomfortable? Yes. Isn't that, called, isn't that a form of intimidation? Yes. Do you all have a right to be intimidated? No. You have a right to be uncomfortable? No. no. So how do we handle that situation? Again. We ignoring, it. ignoring it. And what else? Telling somebody. That's right. Like somebody like who? Like a teacher or a parent. Why is it important to tell a parent or a teacher or an adult than to tell your friend? Somebody's going somebody gonna to really, really break that one down. Why is it very important to tell an adult a person in authority or teacher versus telling your friend or a relative? Come on now, somebody know that question. Because when you tell a friend they don't really have, they don't have power over the other student to tell them to stop because most students would ignore someone of their own statu stature if they told them to stop whereas adult has more power than them and could tell, make them stop. That's somewhat, you're close, but I'm waiting on here somebody tell me how effective it is. I'm looking for a, a key word to come out of somebody. Give it, somebody else give it another shot. I, I give it another example. Why is it more effective and important to tell an adult or a person that has an authority versus telling another youth or another young relative. Somebody come on with it. Uh, guess what? Watch this. The reason why I say it's important to tell an adult, a mature figure, a person in authority, because they're going to handle it the right way. If you tell your peers, your peers are going to be so concerned about you and your well-being that they're going to say, look, I'll handle it. I'm going to get them. I'm going to hurt them. You understand that? Yeah. yeah. Now, doesn't that make matters worse? Yes. And now what it does, it, it makes you a part of the problem also because that person is so concerned about you that they'll go stab, shoot, hurt that person because they felt like you were hurt. Now we have another issue, correct? That's why I advise you, don't tell a friend. Don't tell a friend, look, they teasing me over there. Because you don't know how that friend might want to handle it. But then you'll regret it later the way it was handled. You understand that, right? Yeah. But if you go to an adult, a mature adult, someone in authority, they train to know how to handle the situation so it don't get out of hand. You understand that? Yes. What about other teasing? Who else get teased about their weight? Me. Go ahead. What's your name? Miracle. What what do they teach you about your weight? What do they say, Miracle? Um, they like call me they call me names like Respusha, or they call me Rakishi, or they just say that I shouldn't be that I shouldn't be wearing what I wear because it's too tight. Or like people will call me a fat A and call or call me out my name. Guess what, Miracle? First of all, you have a beautiful name. Your name Miracle, right? Yes. You are a miracle. Yes. And I want you to understand something right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Before your friends. You are who you want to be. You are who you say you are. You understand that? Yeah. Nobody controls who you are. Nobody controls your destiny. And just because they want to call you out of your name, that don't make you be that name. You understand me? 
You're lovely the way you are. You're wonderfully made. God made you the way you are. You understand that, right? Yes. As long as you're comfortable, as long as you feel good about yourself, as long as you feel ambition and encouraged, that's all that matters. You understand that? Yes. And I want you to keep that beautiful personality you got. And understand something when I tell you something. Nobody in this world is perfect. We all have faults. You understand me? Yes. We all have issues we have to work on. You understand it? Yes. But in the process of working on our issues, that doesn't give anybody a right to tease you or harass you. You understand that? Yes. But I want you to do is what Hanai said. Look at that big, gigantic word. Ignore. Say it. Ignore. Now guess what? When you ignore, guess what that makes the bully? Ignorance. You like that? Yes. Say it. Go ahead and say it. Ignorance. If you ignore, what that makes the bully? Ignorance. How about you? What do you say about that? If you ignore, what that makes the bully? Ignorance. If you ignore, what that makes the bully? Ignorance. But guess what? Don't you know bullies become victims and victims become bullies? Because there's an old cliche. You ever hear people say, if you can't beat them, join them? You heard that expression? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you know what, what I feel about that expression? That's a cop out. You don't want to join anybody or anything that goes around hurting people. You don't want to join that. If it takes you to feel like an outcast rather than to be involved with a group that does that, that's not good at all. Y'all understand that? Yeah. And always remember this. You're not a victim. You have victory. Y'all understand that? Yeah. In miracle, you keep ignoring people. Okay? Mm -hmm. And by the way, next week or week after next, we're going to be sitting down with some professional nutritionists uh, from UConn, University of Connecticut. Yeah. And they're going to be talk to us. We're going to be having group sessions about um, weight control, how to manage your weight, properly eating, properly food group, proper food groups, what time to eat, when to eat, how to eat. You understand that, right? Mm -hmm. Exercising. We're going to have all kinds of professional people to help out in that situation. Y'all understand that? Yeah. Would y'all like to go along with that? Yeah. Okay. Now, Sinai. Yeah. Do you ever get teased? Yeah. What do you get teased about? My weight. Can't hear you. My weight. Your weight? What's some of the things they say? Um, that I'm fat and I'm sloppy and they call me on my name. How do you feel about that? As an individual, as a human, as a young lady, tell us the truth. How do you feel about that? It makes me feel bad. Like that I don't want to go to school sometimes anymore. And it's like I don't know, it just makes me feel really bad. Say it again? It makes me feel really bad. But I'm here to tell you something, all right? You're a beautiful person. You're a beautiful young lady. You understand me? Yeah. And guess what? Those same bullies that tease you will need you one day. You understand me? Yeah. And I mean, when I say one day, I'm talking about soon. Because the time they spend teasing you when they should be somewhere learning something, getting educated. You understand me, right? Yeah. And while you're getting educated, ignoring them, you're going to be successful. See, when I was growing up, ranking was, say, recreational. Recreational. But now it's devastational. It's devastational now because people have either no self-esteem and low self-esteem. So you can't go around and have fun teasing people because it's fun to you. It's not fun to the person that's being teased. But when I was growing up, we had what you call rank sessions. But guess what? You know how smart you are, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Guess what? That makes a difference. You know what you are. You know who you are, correct? Yeah. Always remember this. You don't find time in life to prove yourself to nobody. You know who you need to prove yourself to? Yourself. And you know why you want to prove that to yourself? 
because you want to encourage yourself. You want to tell yourself, I can do it, I will do it. And I'm going to continue doing it, and I'm not going to stop until I do it. You understand me? Yeah. That's self-encouragement. That's called confidence. Say confidence. Confidence. I want you to have confidence in you, okay? Mm -hmm. Regardless of what I think and regardless of what anybody else think about you, I want you to have confidence. How's that? Yeah. And don't never let nobody make you think you're dumber than them. You're not dumb at all. You understand that? You understand it? Yeah. Give me a hand, y'all. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for coming out, taking your time out, your busy schedule, to be a part of Mr. Pop's neighborhood, where everything is all good in our hood. It's a wonderful, wonderful day, day in the neighborhood. neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny it. Thank you all for coming out, Mr. Pop's neighborhood. Yo, Ruga. What's up, Pop? Let the kids know number one is educational and the rap game is recreational. All right. Show them what you got. Yeah. Ruga Belly. Off of W. Yup. Huh? Okay. Uh, uh. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books and listen to this hook. Yeah, yo, I felt my life was cut short Till I met this mentor named Pop up a juvenile court He sat me down, he started when he was eight When he was the class clown Yup, and then he started telling me That he must confess when he was eight It was called DCYF He told me to how to be at my best Now that I'm up in DCF he told me to get involved up in game turf Till I met this great social worker named Mr. Duckworth He told me to listen to pop because you're going through a phase Yeah, and then I met this great worker named Sabrina Dougie Hayes Then pop showed me about the boss named Mr. Albert Johnson The supervisor, give him a lobster for appetizer Yeah, and first thing I learned is watch out for so-called friends Cause they the one that turn on you, get you locked in the pen when I spent my time up at NYI, my cellmate was game banging, I was writing my rhymes. My friend was a pad in the pen, I was trying to figure out how to correct what would got me in. Now it's about education and graduation, finishing school will be my great celebration. Young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Yeah, I said, young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Google Belly, Papa Dot Records. You already know what it is. What up, J Bug? I see you. Much love. Young people go to school, go to school. Follow your dream, follow your dream. Achieve your goals, achieve your goals. And relate to me, and relate to me. I do this for the kids. So finish school and pump your mind full of knowledge like you're in the tube. And graduate and go to college, what I'm giving you. Streets trying to give you gang violence, drug dealing too. Listen up to me, kids, don't let it get into you. All I do is get you stabbed and shot, family missing you. You can even ask my mental pop, the streets is pitiful. He's been through the rough times, what I'm trying to spit to you. Don't sell drugs or in the streets claiming sex. Be well above and you can rearrange your rep from young to educated, young and very bravest do something with your life i know you can make it your brain and memory card i know you can save it i just want to say big ups to my cousin david we a powerful movement we the world's greatest we a powerful movement young people go to school go to school follow your dream follow your dream achieve your goals achieve your goals and relate to me and relate to young people go to school go to school Follow your dreams, follow your dreams, achieve your goals, achieve your goals, and relate to me, and relate to me, yeah. Ruga Valley, it's best to leave for the kids right here. Go to school and get that education. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Yeah.
for whatever. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we can do. All for W. Music you can listen to. So everybody rock with us. Show you what we can do. Can't it take it over? Now we entertaining you. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we can do. All for W. Music you can listen to. So everybody rock with us. Show you what we can do. Can't it take it over? Now we entertaining you. You are now entertained, ready for whatever came to wake up your brain. My flow so insane, every time I spit, money on my mind, just to leave, I'ma get a little bit of shine in the all way fit it. My team stands tall while you looking like a midget, I don't think you get it, I don't think you get it. Hold up, watch the crowd go wild when I roll up, we can barely cash you, so I go nuts. Every time I spit, you know us, every time I spit, so everybody know us. You like to talk about guns, the little homie, so what? Fuck a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Fuck a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we can to do, all for a W, music you can listen to, so everybody rock with us, show you what we can to do, can it take it over, now we entertaining you, ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we can to do, all for a W, music you can listen to, so everybody rock with us, show you what we can to do, can it take it over, now we entertaining you. Rugavel is the endless rap. Stop all the bullying in the game. Violence and chit and chat. Best believe I'm spitting that flow that you can listen to. Hear it in your ear. I spit balls. I'm the sickest dude. Catch me on the avenue. Yeah, but really trying to stop the violence. Trying to get the education so you can get knowledge. Go to the college and do it right. Cause the flow is so sick. And I rap all day and night. Ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we can to do, all for a W, music you can listen to, so everybody rock with us, show you what we can to do, can it take it over, now we entertaining you, ain't nobody stopping us, show you what we can to do, all for a W, music you can listen to, so everybody rock with us, show you what we can to do, can it take it over, now we entertaining you, yeah. Google Val, all for W, ready for whatever. You dig?